What's going on, peoples? This be your boy Smith with another Transformers Super Awesome Review. And today we're going to do something just a little bit different. Now recently I had released my top 10 of 2016 and that went pretty well. But today, not so much. As I was going throughout my collection, I realized that I had a few stinkers in the bunch. Now, to be honest, they're not the worst figures I have, but they're definitely below average. I can honestly say I wouldn't recommend new collectors getting these figures, but then again, one man's trash is another man's treasure, so you can take my opinion with a grain of salt. But in my opinion, these are not my best. So I'm going to do a quick top five of my most disappointing transform the the I can't get words out today my most disappointing transformer figures now to start off I do have a quick honorable mention he would have made the list if I had more stinkers but I rarely get bad figures these just happen to be figures that when I seen them they looked good in the advertising, but once I got them home and got them in my hand, they want they weren't what they were cracked up to be. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty. So start off with the honorable mention. We're gonna get with Transformers Generation Jaxus. Now the reason I say he's just an honorable mention and he didn't make the top five, cause. I'm not crazy about this mold. Now, I know it's a remold of, I think it's the Armada Starscream. And that one looked pretty decent. But on Jaxus, for some reason, it just doesn't seem to work for me. I mean, he just looks really lacking. And especially if you've seen him in the comic books, he looks nothing like this. Now... One thing about him that really throws me off is his head. Now, his face scope is really top-notch, don't get me wrong, but it's really small. I mean, compared to other figures, it is really small. And I wouldn't think it should be that small. And, yeah, really just an all-around, like, it's really disappointing. Because I was kind of excited to get this guy. I ordered him. And I'm like, yeah, give me a Jaxus. This is going to be sweet. And then when I got him, it was not so much. Really wasn't. But like I said, he didn't make the top five. But he's definitely had to be put in as an honorable mention. Because he just missed the list. Like, he's not as bad as the top five. So he's like number six, and six is just, uh, uh, you know, he's a meh. So, yeah, Jaxus. Sorry, buddy. I know. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll give you a second chance sometime down the future. Until then, this is the best we have with him. So, yeah, honorable mention goes out to my man, Jaxus. Now let's kick off this uh let's kick off this uh crap fest, shall we? <laughs> Alright, coming in at number five. Now we're gonna do like this. Five to one. Obviously, five is not that bad. One will be the worst. So just in case you're looking for some context. So at number five, I'm gonna give you Nightbeat. Now Nightbeat. I mean, again, another remold. He's a remold of Goldfire or Bumblebee, which I like the mold. I have a Goldfire, and I like Goldfire. So he's a decent figure. Face can be a little bit more, you know, a little more detailed. But nevertheless, I like the figure. What sours me on Nightbeat is is that the comic book he comes with, which I have right here, is not the same figure. Now, if we got this guy, I'd be all about it. But instead, I got this guy. 
And I'm not crazy about it. And again, you would say, how can you not be crazy about it if you have the same mold in Goldfire? It's different. That's Goldfire. He's supposed to look that way. This one, to me, is just, personally, it's lazy. It's lazy. Because how can you give this guy on the cover, and he looks nothing like that in person? It is almost false advertising, if you ask me. And that's what really soured me about it was this cover art. The cover art looks sweet. Like, I would like a night beat to look that way. But I got this. And I'm just, yeah, I'm not digging it. And honestly, the color also, not really that good. Like, as you can see, the contrast and colors from the cover to the figure two totally different shades of blue now maybe if he was that color it maybe he could have pulled it off and you know instead of this kind of neon ish yellow and had that actual gold in him like he has on the cover maybe this could have been a better figure because it honestly truthfully it does have a lot going for him i mean unfortunately it's gold fires mold just with a different head. And that's the only thing different. Like, they didn't remold anything. It's the same figure. Just they popped off the gold fire head and slapped this thing on. And, yeah. And another thing that I'll get into the next figure that's also on this one. It's like they wanted to give us light piping, but then just painted it. It might have got more points if it had the light piping. So it's like, why did you stop? Because it clearly looks like you was going to give him some light piping, but then you decided just, just just paint over that. Paint the eyes. They won't care. So, yeah. Sorry, Nightbeat. You know, like I said. Should be good. I should like you more, but when I see you, I'm just, yeah. Really, yeah. That's, what, that's all I can say about that. All right, coming in at number four, we've got Wingblade. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Wingblade, everybody loves Wingblade. She's the talk of the town. She's the cat's pajamas. She's all that and a bag of chips. Maybe so, but this one here, and not so much. For one, it can hardly stand. Like the heel structure, the leg thing, it looks like it could be a sturdy leg, but no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Like you really got to do some acrobatics to keep her upright. I really, like, yeah, you really got to do some things to keep her standing. Also, the face sculpt, just, I don't know. Like, if it's missing some paint, or it needs more, you know, detail somewhere, it just doesn't look that great. And now looking at it on my camera, it's just like, uh, I'm not feeling it. Now, I've seen other Wingblade figures out there, and they're pretty decent. And like I said, this one is not terrible. It's not the most terrible thing. I mean, it's alt mode is decent, but like I said, it's just some of its parts just don't seem to want to always work properly. And like I said, the face just kind of throws me off a little bit. It just, I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's not the worst, but I'm going to say it's definitely not the best. Like, I'm not that crazy. Now, I had got me a Chromia not long ago, and I think she's way better than Wingblade. Like, figure-wise, everything is just way better. But I'm not that crazy about Wingblade. I'd like to get an RC, because I think RC's pretty BA. But until then, I got these two fembots, and one's good. One... Not so much. So, number four. 
<laughs> you why I oughta come on just stand for me just a little bit look that's another thing the heel doesn't want to stay so you have that going for you too so that's also a reason why I just it wants to always fold itself in even when you just try to stand it it'll fold itself in and you just have to balance her so that's why she's on this countdown Number four, wing blade. All right, coming in at number three, and this is where it really starts to get to the stinker category and just really disappointing because, like I said, when I seen it advertised, I was like, yeah, this looks like a figure I can really get behind. But then once I got it in, in my hand and it was just like, what? What the F, you know, what the F, man, really. And that is cross cut. And the only reason he's not number one is because number one was just a really big disappointment. But this guy, he is not that far behind. He could have been, and so is number two. Like this top three, any one of these could have been number one. For most dis disappointing figure, any one of these three could have been the most number one. They could have been any one, but I had to pick, and I just I went with my gut. But why is he number three? Oh, let me count the ways. Well, for one, his transformation is just ridiculous. His range of motion is piss poor at best. I mean, he can give you rotation, but outward motion not really much, and just and what sold me, honestly, was, look at him. The guy's armed to the teeth. He's armed to the teeth. He's got a prime-looking face going on. Kind of looks like he's wearing a football helmet. Looks all kind of good. I mean, he's even got, like, a little bit of ankle tilts, for God's sake. But he's just, oh, so bad. Like, he really can't do that much. I mean... And going back to Nightbeat, and this one they didn't even try. They clearly wanted to give this guy light piping. They didn't even paint over it. But then they painted over the eyes. I mean, come on, man. Follow through. You clearly wanted to give him light piping because he's got light piping in the back of his head. And then someone said, you know what? Just paint the eyes. They don't need it. They don't care about that kind of feature. It's, 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 a, it's a mute point. They don't really want light piping. And it's just, like I said, just really disappointing. And like I said, he looks B.A. Like I said, all these guns, I mean, come on, man. He looks like a one-man army. So you would think this guy right here is certified B.A. But it's just not doing it. And he also kind of has that problem of standing. Like, even though he's got the ankle tilt going for him, his standing him up is like he's a little bit back heavy, so you got to kind of lean him forward some. You got to have the arms kind of, because if you don't, he'll tend to fall. And it's disappointing. See? And, you know, that, 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 that's a problem, you know. You can't have a toy and you can't display a toy if he doesn't want to stand. So that right there in itself is a problem. And like I said, he wants this potential here. There is clear potential here. I mean, maybe if they redid him maybe in a different mold. I like Maybe this is just not the mold for him. I know he's a remold of another figure. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. But maybe this one just wasn't for him. Now, if they would take all this, this whole aesthetics of all the guns, keep all the guns, give him a new body, keep the face, because like I said, I, I dig the face. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a good-looking face. It has great detail on it. Like I said, it's kind of a prime football helmet hybrid it looks really good, especially, like I said, with all the guns, this guy's ready for war. But it's just, 
Like, it's just not doing it for me, man. It's not. Like, I put him, he, when I stand him in the shelf, he stands in the back. Right next to Nightbeat. Like, I, he gets hidden. Like, I almost don't want him in my collection, but I will keep him. Even misfit toys need love, too. So that's why he's still around. But, like I said, is he disappointing? Very much so, unfortunately. Because, like I said, there is a lot of potential there. But, you know, what can you do? Sometimes you don't always hit a home run. So, number three, cross cut. All right. Coming in at number two, and this one was really disappointing because I really wanted this guy and I really liked this guy especially he's a G1 type of guy he's a triple changer so right there I was like sold you know if if he's any if he's any good as Springer was then you know how bad can it possibly be but oh my it is very bad and that is Blitzwing and yeah, Blitzwing, what can I say about this guy? It's just, his robot mode, it's not that bad. It's it's tolerable, it is. But his transformation, it's terrible. I mean, it doesn't even work. Like, at least for my figure, it might be just a QC issue, but at least for me, his transformation doesn't work. Like, his head will only go down so far and when I tried to get the whole everything together it wouldn't happen like it was just a hot mess then you got the issue with the arm where nothing locks in it, it has parts that it should lock in but it doesn't now I know there's people who have kinda come up with little mods to hook it up to fix that problem but I shouldn't have to you know, when you pay 35 to 40 bucks for a figure, I shouldn't have to fix my own figure. Shouldn't have to do that. Then comes the whole face thing. Now, this looks, you know, G1-esque. But then they give you the gimmick of the other two faces, which I don't know why they would do that. That was more of a Transformers animated thing. And that was good for Transformers animated. This one is supposed to be more going back to the G1. You know, this one was celebrating the thrilling 30s. Hey, let me get rid of this Night Beat comic. I know it's just distracting. But anyway, this was supposed to be part of the thrilling 30s. And it I'm not thrilled. He's got a gun that almost doesn't want to fit in his hand. Like, it's not supposed to be his gun. Like, they just... they. They forgot to have mold him a weapon, and they just said, you know, what do you got on hand? Throw it in the box. Just throw it in the box. Don't worry about it. Just throw it in the box. They'll be too busy fixated on the sword. Now, the sword yeah, is really good. It's really nice. I mean, just kind of bad that it's with a disappointing figure, you know? And like I said, he he had potential. He Again, he's one of these figures, like I said... He's not the worst that I've ever seen, but it's like it could have been better. It's just, like I said, this this vexes me right there. That that yeah, that's just disappointing. It really is. And like I said, when I try to transform him, it feels like it wants to break. It's just sometimes the head doesn't want to go down. You gotta just you gotta play with it, and you shouldn't have to work that hard to transform them, especially a Hasbro toy. I could see if it was a third party or a Takara, but you know, and then his vehicle modes, they're not bad. Like the tank mode's not that bad, and the jet mode's not that bad if you can get it in that mode. But like I said, I had, I sit here and I was like just fighting just to get this over his head, like literally. Uh, We'll see if I can do it on camera, but it was like a no-go. Like, he'll want to, yeah, like, it basically doesn't want to, doesn't want to stay in. And it just, like, it just doesn't want to do it. 
Now, like I always said, this like, is it something I'm doing wrong? I don't know, but it just doesn't want to do it. So that part right there is like why he is on this list because it's just so much potential. It's not the worst figure. And then as I'm looking and as I was just messing with it, he's chipping. So that's always nice. He, he's over here losing himself. So that's that's a that's good to know. But yeah, number two, like I said, he could have been number one. He could have been number one, but he's number two. <laughs> so yeah. Generations Blitzwing. Number two. And coming in at number one is, like I said, by far my most disappointing. Why is he my most disappointing? Because he is one of my favorite characters in, you know, Transformers outside of, like, Prime. I have a few favorites that I like that will always be, like, if they make a figure of them, I'm probably going to get it. And this one was no exception, especially... He was part of the Titans Return. So he's fairly still new. He's not an older figure. He's fairly new. He's recent. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you, if you're thinking it, you probably already know. But, like, this one was just borderline perfect. Except for one little thing. And that is Titans Return... Galvatron. Now, I am a big Galvatron fan. I love Galvatron. I love Megatron. I love any Tron. But, yeah, Galvatron, <coughs> excuse me, there's so much potential here. There's so much. I mean, the body looks great, it is a decent mold. It is almost perfect. I mean, yeah, the cannon is a little bit bigger than it should be. <coughs> uh, uh, I'm getting choked up here. <laughs> yeah, like, the cannon's a little bigger than it should be, but I can look past that. I can really look past that. And the, the, the secondary mode of being a jet, I'm not mad at that either. And his cannon mode is definitely top-notch. What really sours me, and I think everybody pretty much knows, it's this. Like, this, like, what were they thinking? Like, seriously, what, like, who, who designed this and then came back and said, perfect, ship it, get it on the streets. Like, and didn't, no one, no one at the toy company said that, dude, this looks horrible, man. Like, I mean... It's just, oh, it's just all kinds of, I've seen people post sites online where some people have modded it and tried to do things to make it look better. Like, it's just, there's times when I just want to display him like this, because this, this face is not bad. Maybe if they gave it some color, it could probably work. Now, I think the Kara might have gave it some color, or there might be some kind of uh, repro labels that can do it, but... The head's not that bad. It's not. But it's like, you know, you flip it up, and it's just what? It's just, uh, it doesn't even look like it fits. There's so much space. It is just, ugh. Like, just god-awful, to me at least. It is just, and like I said, the figure itself, it's got so much good going for it. I mean... Just the molding details, the articulation. He's got an ankle tilt going for him. Like I said, maybe the cannon could be a little bit smaller. But again, that's something that, you know, I can look past it. You know, his legs are a little bit loosey-goosey. But again, that's just probably a QC issue. So I'm not going to sit here and just nitpick about things that you know, can be dealt with, you know, can be fixed. But that, there's nothing I can really do about that. And that's a shame. Because like I said, I really like Galvatron. As a character, as a figure, 
he's this, you know, the best. You know, I was in the theaters back in 86 watching Transformers the movie. And when Megatron became Galvatron, I was all aboard. I was all aboard. I wasn't that type of person. Like, I don't know these people that always keep saying that when Optimus Prime died, I left the movie theater. No, I kept watching the movie because the movie was awesome. And one day we'll have to talk about that. And yeah, when, you know, Megatron passed on and became Galvatron, I was on board. So, you know, when there's a Galvatron figure that comes out, like I said, I'm all about it. In fact, there might be a Galvatron figure on its way that I am very, very looking forward to having in my home. And I might do a video on it. I probably will do a video on it. But I'm going to play with it a little bit first before I do anything with it. But it's that love for Galvatron that I have to get another one because this one I can't have in my house representing Galvatron. I mean, he's done okay so far, but he's just like, I don't even want to really deal with him anymore because of that. I mean, look at that. Uh, it's, I don't know, man. I, 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 what can I say? He's number one for that reason. Among anything else, even as bad as Blitzwing is, and, and, and Crosscut, Nightbeat, Wingblade, even g -axis, this is unforgivable. Especially with the good Titans Return figures that you do have. You could have gave him a sound wave gimmick where it flips over. That would have been a lot better. I don't even know why they made him this size. Why didn't he not get the, what are they, the, the leader class or the deluxe? I don't know. I'm probably saying it wrong. But why Why is sound wave's figure way better than the Galvatron? Like, Galvatron should be on that level where his head... Helmet goes over his head, not in front of his... It's like a cheap Halloween mask. Seriously, it's a cheap Halloween mask. And that's why he's number one, because, like I said, he's not the worst, but it is very disappointing. So with that being said, that is my top five. Let's, let's bring them all out for one more, just a quick, you know, let them get their time in the spotlight, because these were reviews... That were never going to happen because I, I, I can, in all honesty, recommend people buy these figures. Now, like I said, if you want these figures, hey, by all means, you know, get them. It, you know, it's your money. You, you spend it how you see fit. You know, don't let me detour you from buying something that you might want. I'm just saying, you know, buyer beware. Because, you know, like I said, sometimes things look good on paper. And then when you actually get them in your hand, you know, it, the, the, the same, you, you almost have that buyer's remorse. And I definitely got buyer's remorse with every one of these figures. I was excited about it at first. I got them in my hands. I started to mess around with them a little. And then it was just kind of like, uh, I kind of just wanted to put them down. Because they were just, like, not what I was expecting. So, yeah. This is it. Top five. Disappointing. Like I said, they're not the worst. But they're definitely not the best. I can't even give them a rating. I can't even say they're certified BA or top notch. They're just there. And that's sad, especially when we got so many other good ones that came out of each one of these lines that you then drop the ball with this. And like I said, that's a shame. So I'm going to wrap this review up. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. If you think there's a figure worse than what I just showed you, definitely let me know so that way I can avoid it. And just let me know what you think just in general. Like I said, I always like feedback. As always, you can follow me on Google+. You can follow me on Facebook. 
and you can follow me on Twitter. I will leave a link in the description down below. Now, most of these figures here you can get at Big Bad Toy Store. I'm kind of deciding if I want to leave a link in the description. Because like I said, if you want to get it, you can. I don't recommend it. But like I said, I can't make you spend your money. You you do what you want with it. I, I can't force you. But with that being said, this be your boy Smith. Always appreciate you guys coming to my channel. And if you're new to this channel, you're definitely welcome. And as always, keep it greasy. Keep it easy. And I'm rolling out. Peace.